Welcome to your Stray Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. We're helping 10,000 straight razor shavers. So if you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday special, how to hone your brand new ZY430 correcting a wonky straight razor blade. All right. So Anthony sent me his razor. This is his brand new ZY430 and it is a bit wonky. Okay. We have got a point here. It dips in here, bulges out here, dips in here. We're going to correct this. Let's do it. The first thing we do is we're going to see if this blade is straight. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it on this corner and we're going to push down on this corner. So we got some movement there. Now I'm holding down on that edge corner. And we got quite a bit of movement there. Now let's turn that over. We're going to hold down. And okay, there's a little bit there. Yeah. And we're going to hold down on that. And yeah, there's movement there as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to straighten it out with my DMT diamond plate and this is the coarse diamond plate so this is 325 grit and we'll go ahead and get that wet like that there we go now before we actually do anything with this blade though we want to go ahead and cover the edge with this captain tape all right so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put that right on that edge and that's going to protect our edge while we're working on the spine. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and work on the spine with some half strokes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're going to turn it over and get this side. Okay, turn it back over. Let's do this side. Okay, that actually is starting to feel pretty good. Yeah, and we're we're getting a nice, nice spine wear on it on this razor. Okay, we still got some there that we're going to have to deal with. And there, let's see what this side does. Okay. Yeah, that side's still got more going on with it. Alright, so let's just keep going.
Okay, now let's get this side. See what we can do with it. Okay, here we go. Now. Okay, there's still a little on that side. And yeah, still a little bit on this side as well. Alright. Well, let's just keep going. We will get it. And get this sorted out. See how we are. Yeah, it looks like the spine has got a pretty even bevel across it. Okay, that side's looking really good. This side, this side's looking fair, definitely fair. Okay, now let's just do a little bit more to make sure and set that in where it needs to be all right because i think we're just about there i do Get this side. Okay. Now, I'm going to say I'm thinking we are pretty much there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. There we go. Okay. Now, that side, I think, is actually right here is what's giving us a problem. So, let's go ahead and pull that tape off of there right now. And let's try to blend the spine with that edge, okay? At this point, I think that's what we need to do. I think that will help out enormously. Get this side. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we're starting to get a decent, decent bevel on this. It looks like to me. Yeah. The back side actually is better than the front. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll just keep working it in and it'll be fine. Let's put just a little more weight right there. Side looks good. Front side looks pretty good. Okay, I think we have got most of that wonkiness out of that edge. It's just about there. It is. We're just going to go a little tiny bit more and then we're going to be good. Okay. Pretty decent. Oh yeah, there you go. That side's good. Let's see what this. Oh, nice, nice. Now that seems like if I hold here, it's fine. Hold down here, it's still got a little pushback in this area here okay so we're gonna have to work that just a little bit more So this side, this side has got just a little bit left in it. But I don't really want to go that much more, I don't think. I think we're pretty good right there. 
maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's go just a little tiny bit more right there. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Okay, that side is actually really good. Try this side. Okay, this side still got a little bit in it. So, we are going to do just a bit more. Not much though, because I like the bevel on the back. The bevel on the front is starting to look pretty good as well. But let's go ahead and we'll just hit this up a little bit more. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like the bevel. Next, we are going to go ahead and trim this corner and this corner because there's no reason to have that there and this will actually make it uh, more comfortable to shave with. All right, so let's go ahead and use the Dremel. We'll go ahead and get that in much better shape. Just need a little bit on it. There we go. That's it. Now, this is going to make it much more comfortable to shave with. So, here, this is going to be smoother. And there's not a point anymore. So, that is going to help us out tremendously when we're shaving on both of those. I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You can click on this card to see bevel setting your ZY430 straight razor. I get these ideas from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, give me a comment, a question, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will make that happen for you. I also do shave of the day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you're new, stop on by and check them out. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.